Oh my god, I'm wall riding. Hey guys, I'm Tech and welcome back to a brand new Forza Horizon 4 video. Now, as we all know, it is a lovely time now in the wonderful world of Forza Horizon 4. It is a new month, a new season, and a whole new exclusive car to go and get. Now, that exclusive car today, you might have known about it, and it's not this thing at the front of your screens, or rather what's on your screen. It's not this. Rather, it's this little thing. We're looking at the Porsche 356 RSR Outlaw. Now, I've gone through off camera because, uh, well, I kind of, you know, forgot I wasn't actually recording when I did this the first time, and I've gone and made a couple of setups for it, but I thought first we might as well try out stock. So let's go for a little bit of a drive. Now, it is a very, very wheel spinny car. Honestly, stock, this thing is a literal drift car. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I love it. I genuinely love how this thing is, just stock. It's kind of crazy. Now, for those of you wondering how you get this, you get it as part of the 50% Summer Completion Reward. There should be a video up on screen, if I remember how to edit this right, that should show you how to uh, do all this, like, the stuff you're after. Or, if I can just do the very least, it will show you the Summer 50% thing and unlocking this. That should hopefully be on your screen. If not, well, you just get to see this wonderful little Porsche. So. In the, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take this thing up to the drag strip, because I've done a couple of little things. But first, I actually want to go and show you guys what upgrades are on this thing, because hey, that's probably why you all are here. You want to go and find out what upgrades are on this thing, what it can do, what it can't do, and uh, whether it can make a good cup of tea or not. Okay, so probably not that last one, but we're here in upgrades, custom upgrades, let's go and see what we can do. We've got your usual engine upgrades for your stock engine. Interestingly, this thing is twin turboed which gives us 444 with just that. Now, my plan for today is to make this into a, a bit of a drag car. So I'm gonna go and toss on some all wheel drive. And also, there's an interesting engine in this. And as you can see, <laughs> it gives us a little bit of power. 3.2 liter flat six twin turbo. Now, I'm not sure what car this is from. So if you guys do know what car is actually from it, do let me know. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and skip ahead, probably actually putting this thing together. All I'm going to do is just show you guys the upgrades that are there. We've got your classic sort of little front lip here, and then we've got an absolutely tiny, world's well, tiniest probably, rear spoiler at the back of this. It's not enough to call it a race wing, it's merely a race spoiler, but you know. Now, the interesting thing is, you can put this on um, race tyre, so it must be on sport stock, I, I believe. Then you've got your Horizon Race, you've got your Rally tyres, and also you've got your Drag tyres. Now, I for one think this would probably make a pretty decent little rally car. But uh, that is... well, I don't know if I might do that today. My idea for today is to go and get a top speed out of this thing, and also to go and drag race it. But as you can see on your screens, we've got all the usual stuff. We've got the tyre widths, we've got the spacers, which on this thing actually work really well with the car and make it look really nice. There we go. Now you'll see as I'm adding stuff here, the total's not gone up. This is because, like I say earlier, I was doing a video on this, and uh, I kind of forgot to record my Xbox screen, so now you're seeing it all over again, which is also why I'm trying to get through this really quickly. But you've got all of your usual stuff. This all up race to race, and then over here, we've got the race brakes, which are definitely going to be of use. And we also have the wonderful rally springs and dampers, which you can use for a uh, well, let's just say, quite the drag car. Now, as you can see here, I've got quite a decent amount. Now, does this have the other engine in? Nope, this has a stock engine in because the turbos only take it out to 444 horsepower. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a tune that I saved earlier. Because, uh, yeah, why not? Let's go for S2. This is with the stock engine. And let's go ahead and install that. And then I've also got one with the flat six and also one for the road which you're going to use to uh, go and figure out what its top speed is. So here we are outside of the festival with our brilliant little 356 Outlaw. Now this has the old uh, S1, no S2 rather, drag setup on it and this is with the stock engine. So let's go and park up over the edge of here, get out of the way of that uh, Super 7 Challenge card hopefully, 
And now, let's see. We'll line it up. Does it boost launch? This is something that I was taught by uh, someone in a group that I'm in, how to boost launch cars. And let's see. What do we get to? What speed do we get to in this thing? So I want to try it with the other tune as well, just to see what it does. Let's see, keep going. 152 through the camera, that's not bad. Brakes, well, we don't have any of those. But, uh, oh well. That will probably be changing for the actual road version of this that I have also set up. But, uh, honestly, this really isn't bad for a nice little car. But uh, now, let's go and try it with the flat 6. And that is the uh, 3.2 litre. Again, I'm really not sure what car it's from, so if you guys do let me know. Or if, sorry, if you guys know, <laughs> my brain's is an absolute mess trying to figure out how this car works. But if you guys know where that's from, do go ahead and let me know. Right, now let's go and load, where is it, S2 drag with my other engine in. And let's go and see just how well it does. So I've gone ahead and put the other engine in this now and done a few little upgrades and stuff. And let's see just how quick this thing is off the line. Because uh, from what I saw of someone driving it, it's a quick little thing. It does not keep a boost launch, that's for sure. So let's go and set this up and we'll go in 3, 2, 1, go! Ooh, that's a little bit of a bog off the line. That... Oh, wow. That's 193. That's quick. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that quick. Oh, my God. Okay, I need to take this thing into a drag race just to go and figure out what this thing's 0 to 60, or rather what its um, quarter mile, I think it's just quarter mile drag strip time is. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch that up very quickly, and, uh, well, I guess we shall go and see what it can do. So here we are, let's go and press start race event, and <laughs> oh god, what are we up against? Right, let's just go. Second, third, fourth, come on. Didn't even get to fifth. Now, I'm sure with a bit of tuning that this thing can obviously do a lot better. But that was a 7.5. <laughs> that is really good. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed with that car. <laughs> like, the 7.5 is, for that thing, is really, really good. Now, I'm going to go and take this out to the motorway, go and apply the other tune that I have saved for it, which is literally the same tune with the flat 6, but with the race tyres. And then we'll go and see what uh, top speed this thing can get to. Honestly, compared to the last time that we did a Horizon 4 video, the one thing that has impressed me is the fact that this car actually has more than uh, three categories of upgrades. And that is quite something. Right, let's go and take this thing back up to the motorway and then go and figure out its top speed. So here we are at the edge of the motorway. Let's go and get ready with this. We'll go and boost launch this. That's an I-8 Roadster next to us. Okay. And let's go and just floor it. Let's go and see just what this thing can actually do. So, so far we are up into fourth. That was a car. Was a car, so it's probably a mess now, but oh well. Right, let's keep this going. Now, the tune said this thing did 267, but I'm not quite too sure. But we are now on the downhill section, so hopefully we can get somewhere with it. 262, 265. No. Uh, okay, that didn't work. We got to 265. I might actually just hand right turn this thing around and try again. Actually, no, you know what? We've got enough um, motorway for this. But well, we would have if it wasn't for that car. Ah, I didn't quite think this one through. Now would sort of be the time that I would say that, you know, if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to uh, go and give it a like. And also let me know in the comments if there's any other cars that you want me to take a look at. Because, honestly, I have a whole heap of cars in my garage. I literally have like 500 plus. Well, nearly 500. It's like 460 at the moment, but we're nearly there. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have got any cars that you want me to take a look at, see what we can do for upgrades, tuning, drag races, and anything else, do go ahead and let me know. Right, let's just do a rolling start for this one, and then we'll just go and see if we can get to uh, 267. Because, as you saw earlier, we did get really close with 265. Please get out of the... Out of the barrier. Off the field. Off... Th okay. So, I figured out something. Cars in Horizon 4 really don't like turning. Okay, so now we are back, and uh, we're currently absolutely flooring it. I mean, this thing, to be fair, for what it is, is pretty speedy. 
Uh, <laughs> oh god. That's, that's a tunnel. That's a coach. That's another car. Now, I, I hit a lot of these in the first time I tried recording this, so hopefully we don't actually hit as many now. In terms of handling, it doesn't actually handle too bad, especially with the Horizon Race tyres. Oh my god, I'm wall riding! Right, let's line up for one more attempt. Again, another rolling start with a lot of wheel spin. And let's just go and see if we can beat that mystical little 267. So, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Hopefully stay off the wall this time and not go wall riding, because that wouldn't exactly be very good. Past all of the coaches, cars, lorries and everything else. Back into the tunnel. Go on! Also, this thing has a very nice exhaust note. Have a listen. There we go, 206... I saw 267. We got this thing's top speed. Brilliant! Oh god, it doesn't. I can't stop. But, uh... <laughs> oh, I like this little car. I know it's not exactly much to look at, but, uh... I like it! <laughs> it's a genuinely nice little car. And like I say with the Razor, if you want to go and have this car for yourself, you have... Basically, the rest of this week from when this video is uploaded until Thursday, which is, of course, when the season changes and when we get another fantastic new car in. And also, that's literally about all I can say for this thing. Right. So, <laughs> I like this car. I really do like this car. It is genuinely nice. Hey, I've got a skill point. Isn't that cool? But no, for this thing, like I say, if you want it, go and pick it up within the next few weeks. It is the, or rather within the next week or so, it is the 50% completion reward for actually doing the summer season, which should take you probably about two and a half hours, depending on how good you are at the game. That was an awful landing, but, um, oh well. But, honestly, for this little car, for what it is, it is absolutely fantastic. I genuinely like this thing. I mean, to be fair, if it could beat the Cobra, then that would be something else. I'm sure that with a bit of tuning, maybe a, a three-gear drag tune or something, that it could really have that possibility to possibly dethrone the Shelby Monaco King Cobra. But we don't really know that for certain yet, because, uh, well, like I say, at the time of recording, this car has been out for less than a day, but hopefully that somebody would have been able to, you know, figure out some way of doing it. But all I'm going to say is, that is probably it for this video, so... Like I say, if you like this, please be sure to leave a like, because hey, let's me you like it, and that you want to see more stuff like this on the channel, where I go through and have a look at some of the cars, and also some of the other bits and pieces. Now, one thing just before I do sign this video off, if I go back to the car menu very quickly, this thing with the uh, extra engine has, well, over <laughs> over 1,080, or 1,180 brake horsepower. Uh, I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> it's only valued at 250000 if it was an auto show car, which is kind of odd considering, you know, this thing and what it can do. But <laughs> I love this little car. It is genuinely amazing. And anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, feel free to go ahead and press that subscribe button and the notifications bell while you're at it. And be sure to set it to all so you never miss an upload. I try my best to upload every Wednesday and Sunday, so hopefully if you don't like this video, there should be a video along that you do like very, very soon. So, thank you very, very much for watching, and until the next time, a goodbye. I also forgot to show the paints here, there's one colour, there's no additional sort of advanced painting options unless it's the wheels. Okay, thanks for watching, goodbye!